Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The Path to Glory content continues to be insane. Upgrade packs and player SBC specifically. Guys, one of the SBCs we got yesterday is destroying certain prices on the market. And we have to talk about the market today because prices everywhere are actually so mudded because of these Path to Glory cards. And we got to look forward to today on Sunday where we're going to get more player SBCs. Those leaked are still insane. And we have one or actually two problems with EA right now. And I want to mention that in today's video as well. There's a couple things that they did that we're not super fond of yesterday as well. So if you're excited for the video today, drop a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's go back to that content from yesterday because, guys, it was a really, really good day yesterday of content. Let's be completely honest with the SBCs that we had, the packs and the players Let's just talk about it all. Let's go to the Evo section first because there was an Evo that was dropped yesterday, but it's not really that great of content. We'll start there first since it's not the best. The Star Performer Evolution. The problem with it, Max 84 overall. Man, max 84 overall when you're boosting up 84s to what is the, the stat level here? 93? Sure, you do get some decent stat boost, ping pass, dead ball, and first touch plus. I don't know, man. I don't know. It just doesn't seem for me a good evolution, even though it is free. No playstyle pluses can be added to the or can be uh, on the cards before you add three. 84 just seems to be too low. There's a couple of cards that I was hoping to see upgraded from this in my club, uh, like this Mukhtar. But you know what? Even with these playstyle pluses for an 83 rated going to a 92, I don't even know if I want to do them. Like the stats look good. Four or five. I'm going to pass, honestly. So that evil right there, it's there. Maybe it's good for a certain card that you have. But it's not making a lot of waves, as it probably shouldn't. It's a good one, but not that insane. Yesterday, we did have 10 new players from Path to Glory or Great to the Game icons added to this game as well. With Bruno Guimaraes probably being the biggest name of all those that have been released. A nice card for him. Four-star, four-star. He's pretty rare. He's got incisive, long ball, pass, and intercept plus anticipate ping pass even finesse shot trivella and press proven in the midfield that's a really really good card of course upgrading for brazil brazil just beating mexico 3-2 i misspoke in yesterday's video as well said that brazil would win the euros no not the euros copa america i've been saying euros and copa america so much I'm getting the words mixed up. couple of things here with the icons that were released yesterday. Kumin, extinct on the market at 380,000 coins. Look at the state of that card. He is almost, apart from dribbling, 90 plus in every single stat. He's got aerial, anticipate plus. He has, he's only four star weak foot, three star skills. But for 380,000 coins, I understand why he's extinct right now. That card looks absolutely cracked for a low budget center back. So he looks insane. And then on the flip side, we have this petite. And this card, I have no idea how it's 95 rated or 400k. He only has two stats above 90. And we got 86 and 87 rated stats on this card in basically july right now i'm just kidding it's june but like yeah sure this card should get some up upgrades but even with the two upgrades that the um icons can get it doesn't even look like that good of a card to me luis hernandez looks decent uh the other cards like vlahovic fuel crook danny omo they look solid again ea is scared to give out the five star five star that's what we've been gathering very very few cards have gotten that through ptg seems like that's one of the things they're going to be saving towards later on in the end of the summer type content and maybe for some of these upgrades with ptg cards they're trying to save that towards the end because the stats are insane but that 5-5 five five is uh it's pretty elusive so that was the menu release that was dropped yesterday there's still some outstanding names of players that i guess now are just going to be coming through sbc's or objective and there's still some big names there but let's go to the SBCs because this is where it really was good once again guys the SBC content back-to-back -back days now of path to glory insane first we'll start off with yet again another showdown SBC duo with Nikola Vlach Vlasic and Co uh, Croatia with Martin Zubi Mendy and Spain anticipate intercept and incisive pass plus for him he's a center defensive mid who can also play center mid 4-4 medium high work rates guys these SBCs SBCs are W's because they are dirt cheap. Both of these, I believe, are 40,000 coins to do because it's just one single squad, an 84 rated team, and a team of the season or a team of the week. So regardless of who you're rooting for here, you might as well get the SBCs done. Vlasic with technical, dead ball, and finesse with the four-star, five-star. He can play left, mid, cam, and striker. 
that's a solid card. If he were to get a plus two, if Croatia win, that would look great. If Zubi Mendy were to get a plus two, he would go almost all 90s gang uh, with insane playstyle pluses. So either of these is really good to do, and they're dirt cheap, so there's really no reason to not do them unless you just run out of fodder or stuff like that. Those are both good SBCs to do. Not the most meta, but both fun for sure. Now let's talk about the upgrade packs because these are 100% a couple of SBCs that you need to be doing. The 85.5, first time I believe that we have had this upgrade pack out as kind of our like big ticket upgrade pack. It's an 85 rated squad and in team of the season or a team of the week required to do this. But guys, this is awesome. Like better than the 83 times 10 because you take out all of those 83s and the 84s that are just dirt cheap fodder that we're packing all the time anyway from player picks. You take those out of the consideration and now you've got 85 rated and above there's going to be a decent chance of packing a lot of high rated fodder and the chance at some euro and path to, uh, euro and copa america path to glory cards even the icons and heroes would be packable from this as well this is a really really good player pack here I'm, i mean i think i'm gonna like this more than the 84 times 7 surely i like it more than the 83 times 10 and the 86 double so this one is very very good I love that. We also have the 84 times 7 best of nations upgrade, which we can only do one time, but it is worth the complete, even though it's a little bit more expensive, just an 83 and an 85. So it's pretty easy to get done. Those are two great upgrade packs, though, like GG's EA. The upgrade packs yesterday and the player SBCs, phenomenal. Let's talk about those player SBCs because we had not one, but two. When we got the card design not found of FC Pro Champs, Didier Drogba, we got the SBC, it's only nine squads, and, and guys, this SBC here, I don't know, I, I think a lot of people are really excited for it because of how overpowered Drogba is, he's broken, all the pros used him, his body type for hold-up play, for headers, on the crosses, the power shot, and they give this card technical plus, that's the difference over this Golazo. It's only a simple like plus one upgrade. He did get plus two pace and plus two passing, um, but plus one everywhere else for the price increase of like 200k for this Drogba to 780,000 coins for this Drogba. Is it really worth it? Um, I don't know. That's kind of up to you to decide if you want the player that the pros were all using. Sure, you can go ahead and get this card done after using the 94 Drogba like I, I don't play in a way or enjoy playing in a way that this card is you has to be used for him to be super meta. Um, just to be completely honest, I think he's going to be completed by a lot of people because of the hype and how good he is in game. But I just personally don't think with the cards that I've been lucky enough to pack and the cards and the SBCs that have been released as well, even for strikers, it's not a card that I think I'm going to enjoy playing with. So I think I'm going to be taking my SBC fodder somewhere else. But for that being said... I know for a fact that you're going to be seeing this card a lot in Weekend League because it's only nine squads. It's only 760,000 coins. So, you know, it's a 7 out of 10 SBC for me personally. But I know a lot of you guys are excited for him, and it's going to be a broken card. He's going to be good in game. But, you know, I look at my club, and I see, like, Josalu, who just got upgraded. Even the Sorloth card. A lot of those taller strikers that have the heading capabilities you know that are close to as good as Drogba and if I'm subbing somebody on off the bench I don't know if I want to spend 775k on a super sub Drogba that I may not use for that long so that's just my personal opinion but again like I said you're going to see this guy in a lot of different places because of the hype that he has now the other SBC in my personal opinion is going to end up making bigger waves not just today and tomorrow and next week but maybe even two to three to four weeks from now and it's this joe gomez guys i had a little bit of a maybe you could say hot take yesterday i put it on twitter and i said this sbc has potential to be rolfo or Werner lever level or even kai havertz you kind of put that in the conversation right those were some of the best live card sbcs that we have had from fantasy fc and from tots live towards the later parts of this year because every single live promo we have an sbc player that just turns out insane you could say oh that could be luis diaz right with how they beat the usa um just a few hours ago five to one they cooked right colombia maybe some upgrades are incoming right you could say the opposite actually for england england have not looked that good in these warm-up games and these friendlies heading into the euros but guys 
And let's be honest, the potential here for upgrades is actually pretty high. And this Joe Gomez card with one, two, three, who knows, like three upgrades, I think would be possible. And that means you're talking a 96 rated Go Joe Gomez card who would get an additional and a fourth play style plus. Now, I don't know what play style plus they would give him. We can fingers crossed hope that it would be like intercept plus or they would upgrade the anticipate plus to a an uh, anticipate to anticipate plus right just looking at the card by itself right now though and looking at the value of the sbc with it being where it is jockey plus block and bruiser are good he's got anticipate base which is good enough for me he's got long ball incisive slide tackle long throw and aerial so he's got the necessary play styles and good play style pluses and also guys I think there's three reasons why, besides that, that we're looking at the, this SBC and saying that he's good. He is always overpowered. Joe Gomez, right? He's a FIFA legend for some of the cards that he's had in previous years of this game. His body type is unique. He is always overpowered. Number two, he has the high upgrade potential, right? That's We already mentioned it, but that's one of the reasons I think this SBC is very, very good. And uh, yeah, we know England haven't looked great, but just wait, right? The real competition starts. And you know they're going to have a decent chance at cooking. And the price here, which I believe is like 700,000 coins. Let me go search this up really quick again because I lost my link. But Gomez is 732k. When I look at the rest of the Euro cards, Ruben Diaz was 1. what 7 million yesterday. Kyle Walker, I sold for 1.3 million coins, 1.2 mil. Saliba was 2 million. And when you compare specifically Ruben Diaz to this Joe Gomez card... Ruben Diaz is one point. He was 1.1. 1 .1. He's now up to 1.2. He's fluctuating like crazy. 1.2 million coins is Ruben Diaz, who, yes, is different in game to Joe Gomez, but has the exact same playstyle pluses, flop out, intercept for um, Jockey Plus on his card. But he's 1.2 million coins. Kyle Walker is 990K. Saliba is really expensive. The point I'm trying to get to is this Gomez card for 700,000 coins, which is a lot less because he's untradeable, right? You craft him with the fodder, right? The exchanges that are out, whatever. Whatever packs you're opening, the 85 fives, he's craftable 100%. You're doing that for less than 700K, right? Of coins out of your club. And the potential upgrades that he's got, this could be one of those center backs that we look at in two to three weeks from now. That's like, oh my goodness, he's going to be in everybody's team because he got the upgrades and because he's always just meta and OP in game. That is all that I'm saying. He he goes right into my team, honestly, with the links that I have. Having VVD, he gets the extra English links in there as well. So, boom, straight into my team for sure. Not that I have any other English players in my squad right now, at least in the starting 11. But that's kind of how I'm envisioning my team at the moment with that card in there, with the links that he's got. And he's going to be good. I think I would make one note. Like, if you any of you guys use Kunde, which I really enjoyed the Kunde card, and he was so overpowered and so, so good... I think you need a VVD or a Konate or even like a Besek type card to pair up with a Joe Gomez. Or you could even play Joe Gomez at right back right now on the shadow, right? That's very uh, possible as well. I think he needs kind of like a big body bruiser type center back linked up with him. Because if you don't have anybody who's going to be able to try to stop those uh, crosses to the drug buzz that everybody's going to have, you know, I think you might end up conceding some goals based off of that so just kind of pointing out what type of player Joe Gomez is in game but he's always overpowered so I'll stop glazing that SBC but I really think it has potential guys and that's why I am crafting it and I, I'm glad I saved my fodder I might still do Luis Diaz but I'm very glad that I am doing that SBC and waited at least a day for what's come out now this is where prices are getting absolutely demolished because it seems like a lot of people agree that Joe Gomez is an insane card Bissek he's under 500k this card literally five days ago was a million coins like what a drop off for him 1.03 on tuesday june 4th he was a million coins he's now half that 500,000 coins sergio ramos was a million coins on friday and he's now 500,000 coins center backs are getting destroyed kyle walker like i mentioned was 1.213 saliba was over 2 mil ruben diaz all of those cards are dropping too. It is the center back market that is down absolutely crazy. But it's not just that. With the Drogba, with the upgrade packs that we had yesterday, and actually one other part of the store, I think, impacting some of the market continually. Guys, all of the market is getting absolutely 
cooked. We're talking about the PTG cards, the Copa America ones, the icons. We're talking about the Euros cards. We're talking about ultimate team of the seasons. I just looked at uh, Harry Kane's price, who I think on the stream on Friday, we were selling for like 550,000 coins. People were buying him in the chat. For 500, he went up because of Thomas Muller, and he was 550K or almost like 600,000 coins. He's 340. And as I do a quick scroll through this team as well, Holland's under 2 mil. VVD is 2.2. That's down a million coins as well. Ronaldo dropped a cool 1 million coins yesterday. Like, guys, the market is so cooked, and these Ultimate Tots cards are so freaking cooked. And here's the thing. I don't think it's over yet. I think today's going to be another W day of content because that is kind of how the weekends have been going, right? The Friday, Saturday, Sunday content has been very, very good. The market has dropped, drop, drop. And then once we get to like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it slows down a little bit, content pulls back, and then you see the market kind of just chill out and you can look for those low prices. But man, right now, I don't think I'm super interested in buying anything unless it is one of these Euro cards. And yesterday, you take a look at the coin total, right? I'm pretty sure when we ended the stream on Friday night, we had 7 million coins flat. And 7.7 .7 mil is what I was able to make just trading with how many of these cards? Like a one page of these cards. The DePaul flips were absolutely insane. Pedri flips were unbelievable too. I didn't even end up making many coins on Kyle Walker at all, but we made like 100K on Lukaku. Um, good coins on Adams. The DePauls and the Pedris were the best though, for sure. And now they're down bad in price. These cards are going to be good to flip if you can time it correctly. Um, like, boom, we just saw right there. I have not been watching prices tonight, but Pedri just went up 50K. He was just 717K. He's actually up 100,000 coins. He's now 800K. So these cards, if you want to risk it, are really good to trade with. But I think they drop lower today on Sunday with the content and the cards that we are expecting to get because there's still some big names that have not been released as SBCs. So that's what's uh, to look forward to. We'll talk about that more in a second. Here's the thing I want to touch on. There's two things. I mentioned it in the intro. There's two things that we have issues with EA on right now. The first one is the daily bronze, silver, and gold upgrade packs expired and did not refresh, especially for the daily gold upgrade. That pack was so crucial for those per day. It was so crucial for a lot of people to be able to fund the non-rares in their club to do 81 plus player picks, to then maybe pack some 83s, 4s, and 5s, to go do another SBC, to maybe even pack a higher enough rated card that they can put into an exchange to get more non-rares to go back into player picks. Man, those daily gold upgrades, bronze and silver too, were kind of holding some people's clubs together. Those that have been rinsing everything into the upgrade and the SBCs and, and crafting all that and ea did not refresh them that is actually a problem we need those back hopefully ea hears this feedback and actually does something about it because we we really really need those for people that are low on fodder that have been full sending and grinding like those daily gold upgrades are so helpful for getting your club off of the ground and uh getting some upgrade packs going the second thing is ea released a promo pack yesterday guys not the 10 and 30 coin pack which i do want to open here really fast because uh, you know, they're here and I don't want to open them before I forget, but uh, there was a 525k pack that was released yesterday in the store and evidently just about an hour ago, it disappeared and I think it disappeared because it was too good. That's the rumor, guys. As you can see, it would fall right into here in this line, and it is not there. I didn't look at it earlier yesterday, but I was tweeted by so many of you guys that this 525k pack was very good with like packing so many of these Euro and these Copa America cards, hence probably some of the reason why they're dropping on the market. Now, of course, these were all untradeable, right, when you were packing, but like take a look at this one, Alvarez and Ruben Diaz, and that's like, I don't know how many players were in this uh, 525k pack, but I had multiple tweets from people yesterday telling me to do the 525. I didn't see it until it was too late. Um, again, only with coins. And it, it's crazy that EA has done that. Is there a compensation coming? Is this another situation where the pack was giving out unintended results because the pack weight was too good? And, uh, and now they're going to have to change it and it's going to come back with different pack weight? Or did they just take it away altogether? I don't know what is going on here, guys, but it's very suspect. They need to acknowledge it. They need to say something about it. If there was truly a mistake, they can't just take stuff away like that and uh, expect us not to notice because uh, we're going to know and we're going to see these things. So 
Hopefully there's some communication on that coming very soon. I've checked the FIFA Direct Twitter. There's nothing there. So I don't know what's going on with that. But uh, that's kind of a pretty EA thing to do if we're being honest. Now, let's look at the good stuff, right? Today on Sunday, is the good content going to continue? Like we've mentioned, the weekends have been fire. Last Friday, Saturday, Sunday was fire. The last two days in this game have been fire. I think they're going to continue that up today because of the player SBC names that are still leaked, guys. It's the same three cards that we've been talking about. Crespo, Araujo, and Enzo Fernandez are still all leaked by somebody from the, the leakers that we rely on constantly on Twitter. They're still saying that those three are still SBCs, and that's crazy. Even if we just get one of them today... That could be mad. I mean, we saw how the Joe Gomez and the Drogba were yesterday. If we get another center back SBC in Araujo, I don't even want to know what that's going to do to center back prices. They're already down so much. An Araujo SBC comes out, that is going to destroy them even more because that's always a meta card that people are very interested in, especially because of the Barca links. So I don't even know. Maybe we get Crespo today. Maybe we get Enzo Fernandez. Who knows? But I think we're getting a player SBC that would be 100% for sure because the weekends, they always go hard with those. And then, I don't know, two days in a row, you've got my attention, EA, with two uh, showdown SBCs. Of course, Muller Christie and then Vlasic and Zubi Mendy. I mean, is there something else coming today? Is there another showdown? Are they doing daily showdown SBCs? I don't know if that's been said anywhere in the menus. Um, but uh, I, we're, at a, we're at a good rate so far. We're at a good clip here, EA. Keep it going. We like that. So, those are always fun and nice as well for the live upgrades. Maybe another one comes today. And then you guys know we talk about this every single Sunday. Hero or icon picks, right? The hero pick was 90 plus this last time, just fantasy and Golazo. I don't know if that's going to come back. And I don't even know if I want to talk about the 89 plus encore icon pick because icons are behind the curve if it's not a brand new greats of the game icon or a hero card let's be completely honest like one of these player picks i'm not super interested in even if it were to drop today as a 90 plus just because they're behind the curve there i don't even think it's worth your fodder if you were thinking of doing an icon player pick make sure you've done all the player sbcs that you actually want to do because why even gamble with that sort of thing right now just go ahead and do a player sbc that is more guaranteed it's going to get you somebody that you're actually gonna maybe use and not just to gamble on somebody that you probably uh will never see games with in your club so that's one thing i wanted to mention there um and then other than that i mean technically still we're curious as to whether we're going to get the midfielders or defenders for the evolution the academy evolution that's still kind of up in the air we don't know about that there's potential i guess for that but uh there's no packs that have been added to the code and that's the key thing right when the packs are added to the code we know it's real we know it's legit so we'll be keeping an eye out for that today as well during the future stars promo when we had those academy evos they were spaced out like every other day i believe or something around those lines so we watched out for that today and then probably guys more prices dropping but i do want to shout once again on these copa america cards and on the euros cards it is around that time where we have to keep watching these prices because if they drop again last week it was the same scenario with the ultimate tots cards right they drop they drop they drop but for these cards since they are live they're probably going to have a point that is their lowest point and inflection point up from there because they're live and they're upgrading. And I would specifically target, guys, if you're going to invest in a path to glory, I think I would specifically target the Euros cards because those are the games that start this weekend uh, or this later on this week. And from there, you have the quickest potential turnaround of, let's say, Netherlands win their first game and this De Jong card goes from... I don't know. Let's say he goes to like 1.4 mil. 1.4 mil De Young, boom, he goes up to 1.6 because bang, first upgrade right there. He goes plus one overall. He goes to 96 rated. I don't know. They haven't exactly said on what days they're going to upgrade these cards. We might have to go find the EA website and look through all the details to be for sure. But we're going to be watching these player prices really closely from today on forward because there's going to be potential for investments for plenty of these because the upgrades are on the line, guys. So we're going to play some Sunday Champs Day on stream. And it's also the last day to try UFL uh, with the open beta closing down today on Sunday as it is the 9th. So last chance for that. We'll be doing some of that today on the stream. If you want to come through, that link is down below in the description. Appreciate you guys watching the videos. And man, it is a good time to be on this game right now, right? With the hype and the anticipation of these real world performances tied to these cards it is fun and the content is matching that bro i know there's a lot of 
not excitement and a lot of hate towards this game at the moment, especially EA. But guys, we got to be honest, when the content is good, which it is right now, it, it is making it a lot better to be on this game. Gameplay aside, that's a whole nother conversation, right? We're talking content only. Content only has been fantastic. And wow, it does give you a, a bit of an extra reason to try to get on this game, hit some of these cards and do the SBCs and, and build the teams, right? Build the, the teams, whether you're from a nation that is in Copa America or the Euros, build out those kind of like, you know, fun and just emotional squads. I've got a USA squad ready to go and I'm excited for trying to get that Tyler Adams or the Balogun from the season pass. Like that sort of thing is motivating me the most right now in this game because it is purely fun. And this game has a lot of that at the moment. So that's the video for me today, guys. If you enjoyed it, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And comment down below if you have any questions. I will see you guys in a video tomorrow and a stream tomorrow too. It's been Nathan with Accountant. See you there. Peace.